Good evening, everyone. I'm Sue Herrera, filling in tonight for Susie Garrett. And I'm Tyler Matheson. Welcome, everybody. Well, it was a beautiful summer day on Wall Street, but not for two stocks whose prices had been plumped up by deal talk. Last night, we told you about 20th, 21st Century Fox withdrawing its $80 billion bid to acquire Time Warner. Time Warner's stock fell nearly 13% today. More on that one in a moment. Today, we learned that Sprint has hung up on its pursuit of rival wireless carrier T-Mobile. The big reason? Unlikely regulatory approval to merge the nation's number three and number four telecoms. Shares of Sprint got slammed today, down 19%. Shares of T-Mobile fell too, but a smaller, more manageable 8%. So what's next for Sprint and for T-Mobile? Morgan Brennan takes a look. The mobile wars continue, taking an unexpected turn that could leave Sprint at a disadvantage. Sources confirm that the wireless carrier has abandoned its much-anticipated bid for small arrival, T-Mobile. The communications industry has been expecting the two to announce a merger in a deal that would have valued T-Mobile at $32 billion. This is very difficult news for Sprint. Uh, Sprint has all but abandoned almost any plan B other than merging with T-Mobile. So now they're going to have to go back, lick their wounds, and, and come up with an operating strategy that likely means a lot more capital spending and lower prices for consumers. And those are going to do real damage to Sprint's income statement. That pushed shares of Sprint down by double digits. Over the past several years, the company's poured billions into a network upgrade, a process that's caused poor service and with it, the loss of millions of monthly subscribers. Now those upgrades are almost finished. But Sprint has argued that to better compete with bigger rivals Verizon and AT&T, it needs scale, something it had hoped to get with T-Mobile. However, regulators have repeatedly voiced opposition, and that's what caused Sprint to finally scrap its plans. But what about T-Mobile? T-Mobile's probably going to be fine. T-Mobile has right now a, a ton of brand momentum. Its prices are already low, so it's gaining market share. And it's got a lot of cost reductions ahead of it because of a merger that it did a year or so ago with Metro PCS. And so its income statement and its balance sheet keep getting stronger as time goes on. French telecom Iliad has put an offer in front of T-Mobile for a majority stake as well. And experts say this could present a buying opportunity for satellite TV provider Dish Network, a company that also faces increased competition as AT&T buys its rival DirecTV and Comcast merges with Time Warner Cable. As for Sprint, the company is also welcoming a new CEO, Marcelo Claudé, whose bright star cell phone distributor was purchased by Sprint's owner SoftBank last year. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Morgan Brennan.